Hello, thank you for joining me today for our Bible study. I'm Dr. Tinu Tadeshe. I will be teaching today on what I have titled Divine Strategies. You see, when you work in business or career or profession, you could do it by yourself and be real good at it, or you could have the Holy Spirit, like we said yesterday, being your senior partner and giving you strategies. Today, we'll be talking about a man called Jacob. Jacob was working for his uncle Laban. He had married Laban's two daughters and he was supposed to pay Laban a dowry for both daughters. Jacob had no money, so he had to work out the, da uh, the dowry. So for 14 years, 14 years, he was working for Laban. During those years, Laban would cheat him so many times. Once the 14 years were over, Jacob was ready to go home. And in Genesis 30, he tells Laban, I'm done. I've paid my dues. I'm going home. In Genesis 30, 28, Laban says, no. Or from 27, he says, don't go. I know God blesses me because you're working for me. Just name me your wages. Well, then Jacob comes with this harebrained scheme. Give me all the cattle that are spotted or striped or speckled or black. Those will be, for me, my wages. Oh, Laban, knowing that he didn't have many of those, said, yeah, you can have them. I agree that those are yours. What Laban did not know was that Jacob did not just bring forth the strategy out of nowhere. If we read Genesis chapter 31, Jacob actually tells us and told his family how he came about that strategy. The angel of God had appeared to him and told him what to do. Cut down branches, strip them, put them in front of cattle when they're drinking water or when they're mating. And all the, the cows that will be born to this cattle will be black, spotted, speckled. Jacob did as God told him through that angel, and he became so rich. The Bible lets us know in Genesis 30, 43, that Jacob became very rich. He had large flocks, many servants, camels, and donkeys. What are we saying today? You don't have to go it alone. The Holy Spirit, your senior partner, can give to you business strategies. I depend on him every time. Why don't you commit to waking up in the morning, that's my time, and partnering with him and saying, Holy Ghost, what do you want us to do today? I'm ready to roll with you. He will give you divine strategies. Ask him for it today. Let us pray. Father, we come in the name of Jesus. We seek you today for divine strategies. We seek you for the best pathway, O oh God, to the good success you've prepared for us. Lord, you know the dreams and visions you've placed in our hearts. We ask, O oh God, that we will hear a voice behind us saying, this is the way, walk in it. You told the disciples, cast your net on the right side. They obeyed, O oh God, and their net was full. They could hardly draw it in because of the multitude of fishes. Good success. Father, we receive divine strategies for good success. In Jesus' name, amen.